hello everyone hello my lovely people welcome back to our youtube channel greetings from sissy's kitchen so today we have uh, a traditional uh, cameroonian delicacy called kokikon yeah so kokikon is just um maize or corn like you rightly see here that is blended up and mixed up with some veggies the way we'll do it together guys so so these are our ingredients we need some uh we'll be needing some plantain leaves guys this one is difficult to have it here in europe particularly germany so back home we normally use uh kokoyam leaves but i will be substituting it with spinach this is young spinach yeah so over here we have some palm oil we have some salt we have one cube corn or starch yeah that i'll be using just a little bit to add to the fresh corn so that it actually comes out like a cake yeah so here we have some hot cameroonian uh, dry pepper in here you can substitute this with habanero pepper okay guys so we'll just go ahead and show you what i actually did before obtaining this all right let's go my lovely so when you, you obtain your mace like this this is actually fresh corn yeah so this is what i did i actually removed the grains from the from the stick let me put it that way yeah it move it like this repeatedly like that or you can just remove it like normally if this one was actually that hard i can still just do it with my hands like this but this is actually so so fresh so it would take a longer time to do so back home we normally do like this or but it's easier when you just use your, your knife and then you cut it through like that yeah guys so that is what i've been doing all this while all right my love so when you do it then this part you just throw it away okay all right guys so the next thing we'll be doing is to blend our our corn yeah so into our blender i'm using a food processor because i don't actually want to blend it to a fine paste yeah all right my lovely so you, you can actually add more of habanero so i have just one frozen one at home and i'll be adding the dry uh, pepper tea yeah so you can you can just do it with a dry pepper or with a fresh habanero pepper it all uh, save the same purpose so into it i'll just put in a bit of water so that it is uh blending yeah so that. all right guys so i don't want this particular one to be very uh, smooth like i will do part of it very smooth and part of it roughly uh, like a little bit roughly so this one i'll just set it aside all right my love so i'll just chip in a bit of water inside like that I'm actually using this one because I want to blend this one to a perfect smooth uh, paste so that I can mix it with this one that is roughly uh, blended. Yeah. Because actually, maize here in Europe is not like the one we have back home. Alright, guys, so this is the perfect consistency I was talking about. Like you can see from this one, it's a little bit rough, and this is very smooth. I don't know if you can see the difference. So you mix them up so that it gives you that perfect uh, texture when you finally wrap it up. All right, guys. All right, the next thing we'll be doing, guys, is to warm up, uh, heat up our um, our palm oil like that. Like here, yeah, I have like um, almost one third uh, of a liter. Yeah. You can go for more yeah my lovely so you don't actually bleach your oil you just warm it up a little bit yeah guys so we are off with the, the palm oil so right now just go ahead and chop chop our roughly chop our spinach yeah i already washed it yeah just chop it any shape that you so desire all 
caramel my lovely so we'll just go ahead and mix our cookie corn yeah so we are done blending it so right now we'll just go in with some salt like a teaspoon of salt guys this is sweet corn fresh corn from from the farmer's uh, farm and how about it i'll just introduce one uh, seasoning cube like you see here one seasoning cube like that and I'm going to bring in still some dry uh, Cambodian pepper, hot pepper. So I give it a fine mix first. Like that. Guys, I remember back home when we used to, when I used to visit my village one time, there used to be one of uh, our neighboring village, there's a woman that used to come from there. And she will normally make this on the market day and she will carry it, we will wait for her like, like 30 minutes on the way so that we could buy some of this. So it's just a privilege doing this today and actually just bring that memory back. Alright guys, so over it I'm going to bring in a cup of um guys this is the corn flour I showed you earlier on. The purpose of doing this is just to help it uh, help it the fresh corn to to hold itself like a cake because actually i don't know maybe the fiber in this fresh corn here is a little bit i don't know low compared to back home you don't need to add this so i'm just doing it so that it gives you that perfect texture at the end all right guys so i'm just adding like a cup like that and then we mix everything beautifully together when that is mixed i just bring in our palm oil over it like that guys wow look at that it's so yummy it looks yummy already i can't wait for you to get ready guys this is a traditional dish and it's so so delicious especially when you use fresh corn like this one yeah because actually you can still use um dry corn yeah to do this all right guys all right my lovely so at this junction now we're going to introduce our spinach leaves roughly chopped I love to have enough uh, veggies in my uh, corn because it's healthy. Yeah, I'm just going to mix it up until it gets, it gets incorporated. Okay, my lovely. So just go ahead, and, guys. If you don't have plantain leaves, just do it to make use of your foil paper. It saves the same purpose, but I love to just use both like alongside. Just place the plantain leaves like that, and two way to wash your plantain leaves, you wipe it off so that it gets uh, it is clean and safe for consumption. All right, guys. So to do this, you just you scoop a little bit like that. You place it it's just like the way we do uh, cooking, but this one I actually want to make the shape like I used to see back home. My mother would do it. Yeah. So when you place it like this. What I'm going to do, I bring it closer to me, then I bring it like that, then I bring the foil over it like that, and then I, I do it like that. It's going to come like, like French bread, should I say French bread? <laughs> Something like that, guys. Right? And then over it, I'll just do it like this, and then I bring the other end inside like that, and this is what we'll be having, like the shape. Alright, guys, and into our hot water. I'll just put it right there so I actually put some plantain leaves so that prevent it from getting burned all right guys okay, guys secondly you can just bring in your, your your leaves like this you bring the edges like that you bring the other edge from this edge like this and then now you use your foil paper to roll it over like that yeah, so there are different ways of doing it like I have like three ways I can do this so it comes out same and then into our pot we just place like that all right guys all right my lovely so this is our cookie corn I'm going to allow it cook like one hour had like back home you can allow it as many hours as possible because we normally use cocoa yam leaves that takes a longer time to cook but since I use just finish I'll allow it like for an hour and then we'll check all right guys